What's up guys? How's it going? Jacob wants to go for a walk. It's super nice outside. Let's go and talk about why you want to be a nurse. How's it going guys? I hope you enjoyed that b-roll because I was planning to do my vlog outside while I was walking Jacob. Um, unfortunately I made a huge mistake that I was doing everything in clips and every time I turned on the camera and started talking right away, the first few seconds were cut off by the mic because the mic didn't kick in. So you, some of the footage was probably usable but just for the ease of use, I'm just gonna tell you guys all the reasons for why you wanna be a nurse right here right now. So as you guys know, this video is going to be the top five reasons why you should be a nurse. They're solely my opinion, nobody else's. These are reasons that I came up with based on my experiences. So reason number one, kind of general, every nurse might be able to tell you this and it's kind of cliche at this point, but nursing is a very fulfilling career. Uh, you are there literally to help people in their lowest of lows. I mean, how much more fulfilling can you get than that? You are there to give them that hand when they need it the most to lift them up. So that's reason number one, guys. Reason number two is you will never ever be bored of what you're doing. There's so many specialties in nursing that if you get bored with one specialty, you can just move on to the next one. You can be an ER nurse one day, you're bored of it, Bam, no problem, go find a new job. It's so easy, there's such a high demand for nurses. You can work at an ICU, you can work in labor and delivery, you can work anywhere nurses are hired, but basically, so never can get bored of your job. That was reason number two. So. All right guys, reason number three. Reason number three kind of goes off of reason number two, it, and that is because in nursing, you can grow as much as you want to grow. You don't have to spend many many years in school to become a nurse and you can just stay there you can you can get your associates and you can be happy with your associates degree you can get your bachelor's and you can be happy with your bachelor's degree but if you even desire to go further there are so many opportunities you can get an advanced degree and that could be either a master's or that could be a doctorate and with those alone you can go into subspecialties you can, you can be a geriatric nurse practitioner you can be a pediatric nurse practitioner a psychiatric etc whatever you want to be and nurse practitioners can be their master's degree or doctorate so where however much you want time you want to invest into growing educationally in your career the sky's the limit at that point all right guys reason number four why you should become a nurse and that is you don't have to spend your whole entire life in school a lot of people like me have started their college education by wanting to become a doctor a medical doctor and they go in and they either continue on and finish it they do their four years of pre-med then they either get into medical school right away which is really hard to do sometimes it takes a year and then you go into your medical school undergrad which is uh, four years and then you go into your internship residency fellowship by the time you're done with school you're in your 30s so it's you're spending a you're spending a significant time of your life in school with nursing i decided i started out in pre-med decided to go into the nursing route i spent two years on prereqs two years on nursing school within four years i had a degree i had an associate's degree i went back while i was working got my bachelor's it felt like it was nothing getting my bachelor's. It was I was literally taking class or two at a time. 
super easy. I'm happy where I'm at right now, although I do have plans for the future to get my advanced degree. All right, guys, reason number five why you want to become a nurse. And this one is a little controversial. Some nurses might frown upon me saying this, but it is the truth and something you have to consider when you're going to contribute that much time of your life to a career, and that is money. Um, a lot of nurses will say that they are underpaid, and that's very true. For what nurses do, we are underpaid. However, the money is not bad. It depends where you go, too. Um, you can easily make six figures if you take the right path and the right course in your career. In my opinion, there's two different branches of nursing. You can go down the clinical route and be an ER nurse, ICU nurse, or a flight nurse. Or you can go in the leadership route, and that is basically your managers, your directors, your uh, chief nursing officers, etc. And unfortunately, fortunately for some, um, leadership is where the money's at. And entry levels in leadership can easily make six figures. And that is a plus. Even if you decide you want to go the clinical route, it is not that difficult to get into a clinical position that's gonna pay you six figures. I know nurses that work in a float pool, and for those of you who do not know what float pool is, you float between departments, or in, my, in this case, it's an ED float pool, so the nurse is floating between three different ERs within the same family of hospitals, and they're making mid 40s, low 50s an hour. That is easily six figures right there. So money is definitely there. It is a career that if you choose to go down that route, you can easily support your family. Uh, currently in my family, we are running on one income and we're comfortable. I don't, I'm not panicking because I don't have money. I make enough that I can provide for my family and that is the most important thing when you're choosing a career, a career that's gonna ultimately keep you alive. Now guys, three reasons why you might not wanna be a nurse. And I mean, take these with a huge grain of salt. These are things that are coming specifically from me, things that I've noticed throughout the years that I've been in the medical career. And the first one is that your hard days can be some of the hardest days of your life. You're gonna be dealing with people in their lowest of their lows. You're gonna be seeing suffering, a lot of suffering and grieving. You're gonna see the young injured and suffering. You're gonna see the old injured and suffering. You're gonna see a lot of people die. And that's unfortunately the medical field that these people come because they're to you, for you to take care of them because they're sick. There's something wrong. So those are gonna be some of the hardest days you're gonna experience. Reason number two why you might not want to become a nurse. And this one again is a little controversial. Um, it, it's the responsibility. When you are a nurse, you have a lot of weight on your shoulders. You are taking care of patients and these patients rely on you. And I can tell you right now, more than half the time, the doctors rely on you too because you are their eyes and you are sometimes their brain. There's been many times that I've told the doctor, hey, what do you think about this? Maybe we should go down this route and I have to prompt physicians. Physicians are extremely smart. They are very well educated, but for the education they get, that's a lot of stuff they have to retain and we are there to help them. So it is an extreme responsibility knowing that very often the patient that you're taking care of, their life is in your hands. Reason number three why you might consider not wanting to become a nurse, and that is the, the fact that nursing, although it's not a physically demanding position, and some nurses might disagree with me because they're, you know, you, you, you hear nurses all the time saying they have back pain because they have to move patients and uh, human weight around and stuff like that because it's people are heavy. I mean. <laughs> Let's 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 be real. If you're moving a patient from a from a gurney to a gurney, then that's you know that's quite a bit of weight you have to carry. But it, this is nothing comparing to like a construction worker or a mechanic or a farmer. Farmers are some of the hardest working people I've ever met. On the other hand, though, our positions as nurses they are very mentally exhausting. You're gonna find yourself going to your 12 hour shift and after your 12 hour shift, after all the problem solving you have been doing, all the, the diligent watching of patients and drips and medications and adverse reactions and poor outcomes that you might be looking for, you are mentally exhausted after all of that. So that's another reason. There you guys go. Those are five reasons why you want to be a nurse and those are very five important reasons. And then 
three reasons why you might consider not wanting to become a nurse. And obviously, I'm not going to sugar and rainbow everything for you tell you, yes, be a nurse and just give you five reasons. Those three reasons are legit factors you should consider. No career is perfect and there's always going to be ups and downs, but I can tell you right now, becoming a nurse was one of the best things I've ever done. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys for more videos.